Hey. Okay, welcome to another episode of I Bought Something and I'm going to show you a video of me opening a box of something I know nothing about except the product name. I bought a MIDI controller, Akai Professional LPK25 Wired Edition. There's a wireless version, but fuck wireless things. I bought this for 45 euros and 90 cents at a shop that I did not mean to buy it at, but the motherfuckers that I called about buying it were not there on time. They, their, their shop's supposed to open at 10.30, and I I was there at 10.30. Didn't know, it didn't open until 11, I, I, because I waited there until it was 11, so I just turned a corner, and what do you know, there's another audio store selling this for one more euro. So I'm like, well, you're having my money. Anyway, cool story, bro. Let's get into the product. Uh, I even got a box cutter, but it doesn't have any tape. Very simple MIDI controller with an arpeggiator for beginners that's supposed to have good key feeling. Now I've played on uh, real pianos, I've played on uh, better synths, high quality synths, and I've played on grand pianos, I've played on toy organs, but I have not played on this, on the MIDI controller, so we'll see how the key feel compares. But first, let me just note, it's in a nice little condom package. Wow, it has a warning. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. That's the first time I've ever seen such a big, big, big warning. Holy shit, that's like, if you breed horses, maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe you don't want the beta horse. Reproduce. I mean, you can use that. Okay. Anyway, included with this package is the MIDI controller, which I'll take a look at in a second. Let's just uh, note the professional look, actually. The buttons are a uh, good finish. If it fucking focuses. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. So there's the arpeggiator I was talking about. Sustain program, uh, octave up, octave down. It's normal. Uh, there's a bit of a, a legend. Not a legend. What do you call it? The, you know, the things that tell you what things do. That's oddly unspecific. Okay. Uh, mini USB, because, you know, it's 2009, isn't it? Okay. Mini USB, it's good quality cable, actually. You can tell. Actually, it's 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 not brittle plastic. It's not like the terrible Chinese stuff. I mean, I mean I'm sure it's Chinese, but it's not the super cheap, super glossy one. It's actually a decent feeling soft rubber. Kind of like halfway between the Chinese stuff and the Sennheiser's headphone. Uh, the rubber to use with the cables. Uh, let's see, laptop performance keyboard. I'm trying to find where it's made. Well, it says made in China, right? Yeah, there you go, made in China. But it's uh, decent quality. Now, features. Controller, 25 keys, yep. Arpeggiator, sustain button, sustain is nice. Uh, plug and play USB connection for Mac and PC. Requires no driver installation. Fits in a backpack, yeah, sure. Uh, programmable memory banks, comes with editor software, okay. And doesn't need a power cable. Well, it's a fucking MIDI controller. But, that said, it does come with a disc. Now, I happen to be one of the 0.005% of the population with an optical drive. But this is not a proper way to distribute software for your thing. It should come with uh, some sort of uh, friggin' URL or on here. I mean, there's a URL here, but, oh, well, maybe I just gave that away. This coupon gives you substantial discount for Ableton Live and Ableton Suit. Okay, well, if you want that, use it anyway. Uh, if you're watching the video, if you're one of my three viewers. Oh, there's a, okay. Security. Let's see if this mentions any sort of uh, any sort of link. Nope. To the software online, so it's on this disc. If you don't have an optical drive, you're fucked. Now onto the feel of the keys. They're a little bit smaller. You'd expect. You have to fit 25 keys in here. More like a toy organ size. The tension. If you're keeping your hands on it, it's very subtle, but I think it can hold light, light hands. Especially, you can uh, be like this. The, the keys actually go down quite a bit if you're 
if uh, if you just lay your hands on it like this with no support. But if uh, you have your hands on the desk and you just lay your fingers on it, it's actually quite quite stiff. She's good. She's good. Oh, don't want to mistakenly do it. Okay, let's press down a couple keys. Oh man, that feels pretty bad. Hmm, some keys feel different. These feel about the same. These feel about the same. About the same. Stiffer, much stiffer, not much stiffer. I'd say about 20% stiffer. I don't have any sort of uh, halfway click. This one does feel like it's tactile though. A little bit inconsistent, and this one isn't the least stiff. This is very easy to press down compared to the edge ones, for example. So, mediocre. It was so cheap, I, I can barely complain about it. Let's try these. So the sharp keys here. These feel good. These feel fine. Nowhere near the feel of a higher quality organ. But perfectly serviceable, actually. These are very consistent. Now I have a plastic thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the packaging. These feel good. These, these feel okay. I like you get used to it. Let's try, let's try the, the buttons. Oh, those feel very good. These are very nice. These are these are quality here. Good feedback on these. Not that it matters very much. These are the least important ones to get the feedback on, but good feedback.